Hi, I'm Nathan. And I'm Maria. We're, We're the, the Chatterboxes. Chatterboxes. Come, Come join, join our crew. crew. Oh, doing a lot back then. <laughs> you want some of that? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Chatterbox crew. I'm Nathan. And I'm a turkey. <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> and I'm... What was I? You're a pilgrim. Oh, I'm a pilgrim. You forgot his hat. <laughs> no, okay, let's hear Listen, I made a hat. Let me show you the picture of my hat, actually. Oh, I did, because I, I sent it to Anna, and I was like, Anna, does this hat look good? And she said, no. <laughs> and I was like, I get it. So let me show you what my hat... <laughs> This is what my hat looked like. Uh, what the fuck is that? You didn't even paint it black or anything. <laughs> I, I That's like no point. You didn't even try. <laughs> no. When he doesn't try and get no, that let, trick. Let me tell you. This took me like an hour. That took you an hour? <laughs> Literally you grabbed a, those big cardboard pieces of paper. You know what I'm talking about? And then just push like that. And then like tape the, it so I'm say like that. And then just put it on your head. And it was like, the I tried so hard. The paper. That's all it looks like. What did you do? The paper was so flimsy and it kept falling off. And I was getting so frustrated. And it got to the point where I did this. And I was like, fuck it. This is all I'm going to do. I can't do it anymore. And he was getting on to me. Because I didn't do any turkey face makeup. All I did was put on a fucking yellow nose. Well, color <laughs> it in, I guess. I was, that's all I did. And he was getting on to me. When that's all he did. <laughs> You know I put more <laughs> effort. You know what I like? What? You said, let's make it so we're both in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't want to be in the sun. Anyways, come closer. No, bitch, I do want to be in the sun. It's so cold. Hey. Well, let's move a little bit more that way. No, it's okay. I can deal with it. No, let's just cool. move you. Because also, it looks better. You're Guys, good. we're going to pause real quick. But, uh, BRB. Ooh, look at that fat. At least you don't see shit don't there. <laughs> <laughs> look at that fat ass. <sighs> okay. We're back. So this is our new lighting situation. We're both in the sun. Oh, uh, I feel so warm. I feel so, so glamorous. Toasty. Okay, well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody that celebrates Thanksgiving. And if you don't, I hope that you have a good day anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't celebrate it. I just eat the food. Yeah, I don't really know what the, like, celebration... But like, that's what my family does anyway. Like, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. We just, like, make the food. I don't really know what, like, the celebration is. To celebrate the pilgrims... You see, I don't care about that. I, all I do is eat. Yeah, it's something with the pilgrims and all that. Do you make turkey? No. Ham? Yeah, we've done ham before. We don't do turkey? No, I don't like turkey. turkey. I mean, one of my aunts has made it. That was because my white uncle... One. Yeah, the white one made it. <laughs> the white one made it because my, one of my uncles wanted it. So she made it. I knew. Yeah. I, I was going to say it, but I was like, I don't need to say that detail. <laughs> and then you were like, the white one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way. You think I don't know? <laughs> Anyways, we're also in a church parking lot. Oh, yeah. But I love it though. You can't even tell. Well, I guess you could tell by the car. I have a question. What? Do you think it's open? I mean, Wait, does you remember last time? Well, when maybe we, like the doors. We, I'm sure there's probably someone in there. Maybe. Well, Actually, no. I don't see any cars. I don't even see like. So maybe there's not even any staff either. When we were in New York, that one church that we went to, the first one, it was completely empty on the inside. And no, there were some people in there. No, the, sec the second time we came. The second time we went in there, and I tooted in your face. Yeah, I remember, girl. I'll never forget. Oh, by the way, I want to go ahead and put this in the universe while we're... I want to go ahead and talk about it, so it's for sure going to happen, even though we know it's going to happen. We're going to take another trip to New York in August of next year, so that I'll be 20... So I'll be 20... I almost said 2021. So, oh my God. so that I'll be 21 and me and Marie can actually go clubbing this time because I lied in the vlog and I called myself out for lying in the mm. vlog. <laughs> they were closed. <laughs> were they? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 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 well, literally. Okay, so for you first started off because first um, starts with you after oh. I. Okay. Okay, yeah. so me and Maria find this really cute club and we go in and like, can we scan your ID? And I was like. <sighs> I pull, I pull up my ID and I'm like, sure. And so they scan Maria's. Maria walks in. They scan mine. I start like speed walking inside. And then behind me, I hear, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and I said, oh, and I, try, I just, I just try to keep walking. I just tried to push my way in. He goes, hello. And I was like, <laughs> and he goes, you can't come in. And I said, okay. And I just turned around and walked away with no silence. I was so humiliated, <laughs> so embarrassed. And then... Okay. <laughs> so, I had gone up right after the I scanned my ID. I had gone up. So, like, cool. Dude. It worked for me, you know, obviously, because I'm 21. And I'm getting my bag checked. And I still see him there behind me. I'm like, okay, everything's going good, smoothly. When all of a sudden, after the guy's done checking my bag, I turn around. And I go, Nathaniel? Because <laughs> I don't see him. I go, Nathaniel? <laughs> and the people there are all looking at me. Right when I turn around, they were all already looking at me. Like, the, like I guess they're bouncers, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, the bouncers, they were looking at me. 
and as I said, Nathaniel, and there, and he was like, your friend can't come in, he's not 21, <laughs> and I was like, ooh, and I also, I go after him, and Nathaniel's pretty much almost turning the corner, and I'm like, Nathaniel, <laughs> like, where are you great. going? You know, those people must have thought that was so funny, because they're probably like, where the fuck is he going? Because they were already looking at me, so I know they were like, why is he leaving your mind? I was humiliated. And then also... Me walking up to you being like, no, Daniel, I know they were watching. Like, I, look at that mess. I know. I saw the other the, one leaves. <laughs> and the, the one can't come in. Then he leaves. And the other one turns around to leave. When you and were, it's yelling after When him. you were walking towards me, I saw them looking at us. Yeah. I was so humiliated. I mean, who would it, what would it, why wouldn't you be like, Maria? <laughs> I think that's so much more amazing. Then you walked away and knowing that I'm still there. Gonna have to come by right behind you. I was, <coughs> I was humiliated. I, was, I, I thought it was so shame. funny. But we're going to go in August next year for my birthday. We're going to do a nice little birthday trip. Honestly, I could look you want it to be me and you again. Really? You yeah. and Anna? I would love for Anna to come, but I feel bad because she's... And Mari. I would Anna, love Mari to come. Anna's not going to be 21 at all. And so when, yeah. me, when me and you go to clubs, what's she going to do? Sit in the Airbnb? It's so... I, like, I, feel, I would feel... Well, so, she's asleep. It'd be nighttime. <clears throat> and Lisa, she's not in two clubs. Yeah, I don't... I don't I, Mari... Like, she hasn't been to any, like, me either. But, like, she wants to go to some. You know, it looks so funny on the camera. I just looked up and all these yellow <laughs> spots. I was like, I was going to have to go. <laughs> no, yeah, it does. It was kind of funny. Okay. Also, oh. since we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving, we did a little feast. We were going to get Kentucky Fried Chicken, but we didn't because there's enough. We got tiramisu I made. And I made a pumpkin pie. Um, There was a be- there was beautiful whipped cream swirls on it, but the whipped cream melted in my fridge. You're not even showing it. Go like that. Yeah. The whipped cream melted in my fridge, and I, I don't know. And I, I put more on before I left my house, and this is the result. This is my term soon. Okay, girl. Oh, that looks so good. I'm not really a tiramisu girly, but I've never tried homemade tiramisu. Yeah, I've only. Like a small piece. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Before we get into it, um, I kind of want to talk about something a little serious first. Okay, girl, go ahead. Okay. Do you mind if I if I make this Thanksgiving episode a little serious for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can talk about the genocide. No. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna. What? Oh, if there's a man walking. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. I want to talk about. It is difficult to be a homosexual. Do you know what I mean? No, Let me get into it. I'm not a homosexual. It's difficult to be a homosexual. Me and my family are constantly worried that I'm not gonna be alive tomorrow. And there's people out here. On, I wrote notes about it because <laughs> it's hard. Ugh. There are people, my family's constantly worried that what if I'm not here tomorrow mm-hmm. and I don't, I hate, I love to be in public, mm-hmm. but I don't like to like dress super femme in public anymore mm-hmm. because of like everything that's going on. And there's this one song on Drag Race. Yeah. Um, you've, I, you've, I made you listen to it. It's called Drag Ball and it's from season 15. And that was when, th- that was when like the whole thing about like them trying to ban drag mm-hmm. was really big. And people out there genuinely want me dead for just living mm-hmm. are you fucking for real it's so, what nothing i just turned oh, i'm just listening to you talk he's looking he's walking his dog yeah you didn't notice oh, no. those dogs oh dogs <gasps> do you think you'll let's pet it i'm just kidding you don't even want to pet dogs <laughs> no, i don't like petting random strangers dogs yeah i know oh. are you gonna keep going oh but anyway it's just uh, they don't want me to have rights and they would genuinely rather have me dead mm-hmm. instead of Living. Oh, by the way, that's my new car. I got a new car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just want to bring that up. Yeah. Because I don't... Ugh, I could cry talking about it. I, anytime I listen to that song in the car, I genuinely start sobbing. Mm-hmm. I want to live. No, I mean... Yeah. Do you? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ask me in high school you in a little bit. Different you want, I know what you mean, though. You want to live, like, your person. Like, who you are. And this is why I like New York so much. Mm-hmm. I was genuinely not afraid to dress in my booty short overalls and walk around the town. Mm-hmm. But if I did that here, I, but I I did it a few times. Genuinely uncomfortable, three fourths of the time. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. I don't like it. And that's why. I, and that's part, well, another one of the reasons why I genuinely want to move to New York. Good. It felt. I mean, obviously, it's not, I mean, people. There's things going on there apparently with like like terrorist things. You haven't heard. Have you heard? <laughs> like about what? I don't know. It's just like like um. It's like. Things are happening in New York, apparently. My sister well, told my sister told me about me. it. She didn't, she didn't really go into great detail about it, but like 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 there's like like shootings and stuff going on, apparently, and it's also not safe to be there. But I feel safer there mm-hmm. than I would okay, here. But like it's New York. Exactly. It's like it's gonna New York happen. City. <laughs> Who's ever considered New York City safe? <laughs> like, 
fuck? What are you thinking New York City? Are you thinking, oh, that's the safest place ever? We literally saw a man do cocaine. <laughs> yeah, literally, we're cocaine. going down the and there's a man doing cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. Literally, we're walking. I remember at one point, minding our own business, a man, like, breaks a bottle. I still remember that. It was that night. I don't know if you remember it. I remember you turned and you kept going, obviously. You, I mean, what are you going to do? I turned and I looked, but I kept going. Do you yeah. remember when that man just offered us a huge bag of weed and we were like, no thanks? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I think that's, like, whatever, though. I'll, like, I'll take weed. Weed is legal there, so, I like, obviously they're going to be selling it and be like, yeah, you want some salsa? I'll take weed, but not weed from a stranger on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to that dispensary. <gasps> when we go again, we have to go to that dispensary. Oh, of course. I'm so sad that we didn't go again. I really went once. Girl, so we'll, sad. we'll go. We'll go every day. Every day, damn. <laughs> I think we should go for like two weeks this time. Two weeks? Mm-hmm. I thought two weeks was too much. I thought it was like a week and a little bit of the second week. A week and a half. Yeah. I'm so happy with a week and a half. And this is gonna be like my official second trial run to decide if I really want to move there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna open up a second savings account mm-hmm. to put my my New York fund into that one mm-hmm. because I know me. If it's in my first savings account. You're going to use it? I'm going to fucking use mm. it. <laughs> also, I applied to two houses. Oh, wow. I'm hoping that I get applied to either one. I mean, I'm hoping I get, I, I can move into either one of them, but mm. I applied to two of them. Mm. One of them is only $500 a month, mm. but it doesn't have any appliances. Okay. <laughs> and what? no AC either. <laughs> but the other one is 900 a month. Uh-huh. But it looks really like, the inside is really white. Like, the counters were white, the floor was white, and then the walls were white. And very I was like... Modern, definitely. <laughs> I know. Definitely like a lot more are very white. I was like, but well, oh, I'm so excited. I really hope I can make it that episode. Mm-hmm. Should we talk about it? No. Go ahead, it's your okay. thing, not mine. No, 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 I don't want to talk about it because if he says no, then it's going to be so embarrassing that we already talked about it. Oh, like there's history? No. Um, no, it's just like, what if he says no to being on the episode and then like we talked about it on That's here? That's what I'm saying, like there's like history. Like you'll be able to pull it up. Oh, so yeah. He talked about it. Oh. <laughs> I, I, should I talk about it? I mean, it's your thing, not mine. I want. I think it'd be so iconic and interesting to invite my ex-boyfriend on from high school onto the podcast when I get my house, obviously, because I got to show I'm doing well, obviously. <laughs> After you just said that, I got show I'm doing well, guys. <laughs> As if he can't go back through all this. He doesn't listen. Also, that's so much work. He doesn't listen. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Oh, but actually, okay. I have some. I have so many things to talk about. Okay. 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 I. This, I don't. Please don't call me insane. I'm not saying anything. My brain works in such mysterious, in like such weird ways. I think. Mm-hmm. Do you know that that song I showed you, the one that was like it was like the AI bitch talking really fast. No. And I asked you if you could say the words, and then you tried to do it, and you couldn't keep up either because you just go so fast. No. Bitch. I remember we listened to a song, and I kept up relatively. Yeah. I yeah. I'm talking about this song. You said AI. Yeah, Is well, it AI? Is yeah, it like she, an AI song? Yeah, she's not a real person. Oh. But anyway. I feel like I kind of keep up. Did I, you? I did longer than you. So, yeah. You said. <laughs> no, I kept up way more longer than you. Anyway. Anyways. What you saying? Um, I could keep up a little. I think I'm a little crazy. Uh. Because I have, in my head, I've come up with a whole performance to it. Mm-hmm. Like, storyline. Can I read you the performance? Okay. This is so silly. But I've come up with a whole performance, a whole storyline. And basically, the, the premise of the song is that, like, she doesn't want to do it anymore. And she's being forced to do it still. And so, my performance is... Okay, are you ready? I'm going to paint you a picture, bitch. Close your yeah, eyes. Yeah, you spat on me. Oh, you that's... Me. I got a wet mouth. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. I don't want to do it. No. Okay. Like okay. It starts with me. On a, I'm on like a spinning platform. Mm-hmm. I'm posing. I'm looking happy. I'm looking normal. Mm-hmm. And I do a little funny and I pull out a puppet that looks... Jo- mm-hmm. What? I'm going to lay down. Oh. Oh. oh no. I'll lay down and have my eyes closed. Okay. Okay. The turkey's dead. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The real thing is about to get. <laughs> Let me start carving. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. I, I do a funny and I pull out a puppet that looks just like me, right? Mm-hmm. And then boom, the fast words start and the puppet is saying them. I'm looking, I'm looking at it all shocked and silly. Everyone thinks that's like a nice and happy performance, right? When the fast talking is over, I start dancing, smiling, and then the first scream happens. And then at the end of the scream, I jolt up, I, and it's like I'm being controlled, right? My mouth is smiling, but my eyes are scared. My eyes are like scared and shit. Um, the, pu- the, the puppet does the next fast part, and my hand covers my mouth. And anytime I get a chance to break out of the quote simulation, I do. But it jolts me back into it. At the end of it, I'm sobbing but still smiling. They finally unplug me, and, and I tell, quote, Master, because that's what she says in the song, how happy I am. And then I boot back into my robot state and say that the simulation has encountered a critical error, and then I fall. Mm. And that's the whole performance. Are you like a puppet in your simulation? 
Like I'm her. Like I, she's like. You an are a, the puppet, or are you also like a puppet? Like I'm also a puppet. Like yeah, I'm being so, controlled. So yeah, you are that puppet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I put so much thought into these things, and I'm never gonna do them. Like I don't think I'm genuinely ever gonna do that. Mm-hmm. You know. Is this song in like? I know some sort of genre. Is it like Yuri? I think it's called. Or something um, like that. Something um, evil. Vocaloid. No, it's not something evil. Cause like apparently it was like some true case also. I think it's a different song. Never mind. I'm so freezing. Is that the one that goes Miku? No, but it's by her. Then no, it's, a it's, it's by the same girl. I think it's a different song, the same vocaloid, if you will. Uh-uh. Well, okay, I feel like I'm talking this whole time. Well, you said you had a lot to say. I do I have mean, a lot I to say. I feel like, also, what am I going to say? You're telling me things. <laughs> Some of the things you already told me, so it was like. What have I told you? Okay. <laughs> we told about the oh. house. Oh, yeah. Well, I, did, I applied it. And then the Aaron thing. What am I going to say to that? <gasps> His name? <laughs> Oh, I thought you haven't said his name so many times before. I'm sure in the past episodes you have. I know so many times. Well, anyways, do you want? I guess I'll get into it. Do you you want to go ahead and get into the food? Yeah, get into it, girl. Okay. Um, Um, I I was gonna say, okay, we can do this. Maybe start in the middle. Because like I what? We can't just like start in the middle because like we don't have any plates or anything. Oh well, I was gonna say. I can give you your slice. Like, you give me my slice, actually, and put it in here, and I'll give you your slice, and you'll put it in there. Oh, okay, well, then open your container, bitch. Okay, well, hold on. Let me clip this so they can hear me. Oh okay, so, while we do this, let me... You sure you just one slice? I made a whole pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so excited to try the tiramisu. I really never had homemade tiramisu. Ooh. It's fine. Oh, yeah, you ripped the yours off, too. You ripped my piece off, too. It's okay. I'm giving you your crumbs. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Just dump it in there, girl. Mm, okay. okay, so like, first let's taste test and then we'll talk. Okay, well. We'll okay, let's taste test. Okay. Should we taste test each other's or taste the, taste the same thing? Let's do the same thing. Okay, let's do the pumpkin first. Okay, the pumpkin. Okay, hold on, wait. I need to find a piece. I want there. a good piece. Okay, get the crumble. Get the crumble. Get some of the. the I put some crumblies on there. Get some okay. Of the crumblies. I got a crumble. And I'm getting a, some of the crust. Because I am a crust gal. Okay. Smells good. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's good, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I made it with um, sweet and con- and like the, like normal pumpkin pie. You make it with evaporated milk, but I made it with sweet and condensed milk. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little on your nose. I did. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. jeez. Is it off? I don't want to ruin my nose. Yeah, it's off. Yeah. Okay, let's get into this terrible soul. Well, yeah. you've had it already. Yeah, I've definitely had it. Oh, I got some pumpkin on there. I would hate to ruin the integrity of the It's so good. That's Be honest. So good. He hates it. No, that's so good. He spits it out. Thank you. <laughs> We're both bakers. What can I say? I know. And I put whole cookies. I will. I put, yeah, I put half cookies on there. They're ginger snap cookies. Oh. Speaking of ginger snap. Should I update you on my love life? <laughs> Even though you already know all about it, but they don't. No, go ahead. What does that do with ginger snaps? One of the boys told me to put, put do a ginger snap crumble on top. Oh. Um, I'm talking to... Maybe I shouldn't talk about it, because they all listen to this. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you already mentioned it. You're not going to edit it out. So what are you acting? <laughs> Just say it. Well, I'm okay, there's two that I'm like seriously talking to right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say our names. But one of them is the one that looked like my ex. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is like a really country guy. Mm -hmm. And he's actually really sweet. But he's the one that he said he loved me. Mm -hmm. Which I thought was wild. Mm -hmm. I was like, love? Mm -hmm. Love? We've met twice. Mm -hmm. But then I have seen him a third time. But he left me on red today. Mm -hmm. I hate, see, see, this is what happens. I start to like one of them. I start to like him. Out of nowhere. They stop fucking talking to me. I'm like, are you fucking for real? Mm-hmm. No, I don't like when they do that either. Especially because, like, you notice because, like, at first they always be responding right away. Mm-hmm. Or, like, relatively, like, soon enough. But then, like, as it goes on, if y'all talk, you notice they, like, answer less sometimes. And, mm-hmm. like, why is it taking longer? Not answer less, but, I mean, like, it takes longer. And it's so like, still answering just longer, you know? Mm. I noticed that, that with some of them. Was so good. Look at all. I'm like, oh, I hate, oh, I hate, oh, I hate men. Mm-hmm. But like, I have like, t- 
so many in my phone. Mm-hmm. I was only seriously talking to two of them, but I, it, I have a few on the side, you know. Mm-hmm. Backups, if you will. No, well, yeah, I know what you mean. Mama likes to have a good backup. Mm-hmm. I should have had a backup with Ronnie, but you know, we were together three years, so. Mm, he did. See, the three years ain't stop him. <laughs> see, this is what I'm wondering. I think I'm like, gen- I'm I'm curious if he has a boyfriend now, mm-hmm. because at the like at the end of our relationship and like when I gave him when I gave him Athena mm-hmm. to watch her while we were in New York, mm-hmm. he was like he was like he was so nice. Don't hesitate to reach out to me for anything. I swear I'll always be here for you. Mm-hmm. Blocked. No, yeah, you told me, yeah. But the last time we interacted, it was so weird. He was acting really weird, and so I looked at him and said, "Hey, are you okay?" And he was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, you just seem like off, and I just want to make sure that you're fine. Uh, 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 sigh. Sigh so loudly. Sigh again. I'm fine. Sigh. And I was like. Bitch, are you calling you fucking love and pub? I was like, I said, I see, I know him. He gets really frustrated when I, when I would pry to ask if he was okay. So I was just like, okay, I just want, I just want to make sure. Mm-hmm. And then I got home, and I, and I went to text him. Blocked. Mm-hmm. Blocked. I was like, are you fucking with me? Mm-hmm. Is this a joke? I'll always be here for you. No, I won't. <laughs> Wait, but why do you think he has a new boyfriend though? You just told me like the same things. Because he blocked. Because like he, I can't find him. Like I, he's blocked me on everything. And okay, yeah, but you—that's why you've been like that for a few weeks. Listen though, listen. I'm a little psycho, and so I have like four different grinder accounts. Mm-hmm. And I went and looked. Okay, hello everyone. We are back. I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. My phone ran out of storage yeah but we're super back. embarrassing okay okay and i went and put on a hoodie because it's really cold out here mm-hmm. i feel like it's not really that People really are... you don't think it's that cold it's like in the 40s i think is when i checked or no 50s because i think it's getting to like the highest getting today is like 56 <sighs> or 55 ish <laughs> check the weather i don't have the weather app on this phone oh okay anyway what do you have to say well i can't pull it on my phone there's no internet i guess Hmm. And also, like, my phone isn't loading yet. Oh, it loaded! Ha 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 ha! Oh, about time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, for you guys, Halloween's weeks ago. For us, Halloween was, like, two nights ago. <laughs> yeah. So, pictures came out yesterday, so November 1st, of Heidi Klum. Apparently, she's, like, she's, like, this model, right? Well, and she dressed up as, because I know last year she was a worm, right? Yeah, apparently she's, like, really into Halloween. She does all these crazy costumes. I never knew that. I never knew that. Like, I've heard of her, but, like, I never knew she was, like, crazy into Halloween like that. Mm-hmm. But I think it's so cool, because, like I said, last year she was a worm. And I didn't know that until this year when I saw it after I saw her first, after I saw this costume from this year. She was a fucking peacock, and her husband was a fucking egg. Mm-hmm. It's so funny, girl. It's so funny. But I saw the worm also, because obviously after that, I was intrigued. I was intrigued by her after I saw the fucking peacock. I was like, got to see what else I she's got to bring. I haven't seen her costume this year. The worm is so funny, dude. The worm was kind of scary. Okay, look. No, it's scary, but look, look <gasps> at the video. Maybe you can put it in for them. I don't know if you'll edit it in. Ooh, no, no, no. I want you to see the performance a little bit. We're right, getting together, obviously. This is cool. Right, right. Like, she gets into it. Is that her? Yeah, she's the blue one. The peacock. Uh, I want to see your peacock cock. Do you remember that song? No. By Katy Perry? No. Your peacock cock. No. <gasps> okay, this is iconic. Yeah. She's and then she's just holding that pose for, like, the longest. She has a whole team this year. Yeah. I'm going to skip that part. Because she's just holding the pose. You know damn well. It's not... No, she's literally just holding no, the post, I mean, and then they, is... they, 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 like, get all together again. But I remember there was something like that I wanted to show you, too. I don't remember what it was. Okay, getting back assembled again, because they were on the ground for, like, the uh-huh. longest. <laughs> do they do anything? Hmm. There she is. Oh, that was so... Ooh! Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted. I, thought it, I don't know why, but I thought that was so funny. That was so iconic. And then her husband is an egg. Wait, I want to see the egg. He loved it, though. He loved he it. Insane. Look at the nose. Like, <laughs> is that actually his nose, or did they do that to his nose? He loves it, though. It was apparently his idea. Wait, I came up with it, and this is her as the worm, dude. Oh, girl, I know about the worm. Look at that. It's so funny! <laughs> Guys, just because, since I don't know if he's gonna edit in or not, I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> the face is so funny. The face <laughs> is so funny. I think I focused more on my face, but like, maybe uh, you saw the worm. 
Well, the faces were. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. I finally realized why I didn't like living at home. Mine. And it finally hit me last night. What? I don't know if I want to talk about it. I'll talk about it. My stepdad really pisses me off sometimes. Why? Last night, while I was making this pie. Yeah. Okay. I'm not like a dirty person. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Like, the most I'll do is like leave wrappers around for like a few hours. But then at the when I go to bed, I always clean, them, uh, clean everything up, go throw it away, and then go to bed, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and it's not my house. So, like, obviously I'm going to clean up after I make something because mm -hmm. it's not my house. Mm -hmm. <sighs> walks into the kitchen. And he walks out because my brother, he's about to go pick up my brother from work. <sighs> Sigh. Sigh even louder. I just cleaned up the whole kitchen. You're going to make a whole mess and leave it. Sigh. Sigh so loud. Mm -hmm. Slams the door when he walks out. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking with me right now? I don't leave, like, I'm not over here leaving that. Wow, his son has mm -hmm. a Dollar General bag full of trash that he's left in, left on the desk mm -hmm. in, the, where, in the sunroom where I sleep mm -hmm. for weeks. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a, oh, thing, a tub of ice cream that's empty in there. Mm -hmm. Sigh, but I'm just so dirty. I'm so messy. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking with me right now? No, yeah. Is this a joke? Tell your son to clean up, mm -hmm. you fucking pig. Mm -hmm. I was so mad. Yeah. I was so frustrated. Like, are you fucking with me? Mm-hmm. He sees this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does it matter? I was just like, are you, like, is this a joke? Mm -hmm. oh, and, oh, God, I, I can't. Like, I didn't want, I didn't want to move back in with my parents. Mm. But I really didn't want to move with my dad. And mm. I realized oh, I didn't want to move with my mom either. <laughs> really? I just don't get along with my step parents very uh -huh, well. Uh -huh. Which is fine. I don't have to, but like. Yeah. It's like. It'd gonna, be easier. You're going to sit there and call me dirty and messy mm -hmm. when your son has left trash out for weeks. Like, literal weeks. I'm oh, not going to yeah. clean it up. It's not my mess. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like in like. My, my yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Room. I was about to say, I think I would have taken out because it's like in my area. It's it might like, be taken out, maybe taken out into his room. It's in my area, but like. But I, not. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's not my mess. I'm not dealing with it. Sigh, sigh. <sighs> See, and that's why you should have brought it up. When huff, you heard all the sighing, I would have said something. Huff and puff. You're so nasty and dirty. I was like. Well, I, I just sat there and I was stirring my pumpkin puree. Like. You didn't say anything? No, I just sat there and I. Why looked, didn't you answer I just, back? I looked at him and said. Do you think I'm a mess? I'm gonna clean up. And then oh, went back to stirring, and then he went and slammed the door shut. Mm. I'm like, are you fucking with me, mm -hmm. you pig? Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't even know what their bedroom looks like. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking pig sty. Mm -hmm. But I'm the mess. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a picture tomorrow. Okay. I'm so serious. Like it pisses me off. <laughs> but, but I'm the pig sty monster. No, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. You used your stepdad ever act like that? <laughs> no, yeah. Like sometimes he would try and say something to me. Not anymore though. You say something back. Yeah, I would say something back. That's why I'm like, surprised you didn't. I would have said something. I would have brought that thing up about his son that you just said. I would have been like, well, your son left trash like, in this room. Like, if, are you going to go say something? Yeah, are you going to go say, are you gonna I, say something you know, you pick him up? I don't know how you didn't say anything, how you just said that one thing. I would have said that. I would have brought that up real quick. I, just, I, just said, Do you think I'm I would bring that up still, honestly. I'd be like, he left trash in there. You were complaining about me yesterday. There's a mess over there. Go look at his room, too. <laughs> was, but only he probably does say stuff to him. He just... I don't here. think so. I haven't seen him say anything to him since then I've been there. Then maybe he doesn't. And it's been in there since like the week the week after I moved back in. Mm. Well, maybe Sigh. he thinks you're trash. Sigh. No, but even then he would say something to you too. I feel he'd more say something to you guys. It's like so so frustrating. It's mm -hmm. so annoying. No, yeah. God, I hate living with my parents again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be out. Mm -hmm. I, see, th this is what I'm applying. To. I'm applying to houses like fucking crazy. I'm over. I applied to two last night. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm just praying I hear back within the next week. Mm -hmm. I'm just so over it. No, yeah. But anyway, that's my little rant about living with my parents. Okay. I'm over it. And I hate I hate not having a designated place to film. I really do. Really? I know you don't mind I it. I think this is so much fun. I know you don't mind it, but I really enjoy going sitting on a little couch every week, having that sign behind us. It was so iconic. No, mm -hmm. it stripped no, away. No, I liked me. it. Oh, it's gone. Can I tell you something really funny, though? Yeah. You know how they I got kicked out of my house because the owner wanted it back, and then yeah. they put it up the same fucking week? I think you said that the owner didn't want it back after you realized, or like that you saw something, that I, they the owner was just put, putting they, it up more the money. They lied to me and said that the owner wanted it back so that mm -hmm. I would leave, but the owner didn't want it back. They just wanted to raise the rent. Mm -hmm. You know what I fucking saw? What? They're, they're struggling to find someone to move into that house, mm -hmm. and it was at, it was almost at $1,000, mm -hmm. but now it's at eight ninety five. They keep lowering it. And I think that is so funny. Mm -hmm. Karma. No, yeah. For kicking me out. Now they can't find someone to go into that house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boo -hoo. 
so sad. You reapply. <laughs> no, apparently, I can't. They won't let me rip them Oh, yeah, you said you got banned. I'm just, and for no fucking reason. I yeah. genuinely don't know why. I'm but, oh, boo-hoo, you can't find someone to rent the house. That's mm-hmm. so sad. Oh, fucking assholes. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, what do you got about Thanksgiving, girl? Okay. What do you got about it? What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? I have three Thanksgiving words. food? Well, I really like ham. I don't like turkey, so I'd rather eat ham. So that's my favorite Thanksgiving food. I feel like that's a Thanksgiving food, yeah. Really? I love, mashed potatoes is my favorite side. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. No I'm gravy, saying, though. I don't like gravy. See, I'm not a ham girly. I'm a turkey girl. love bro. ham. Let me tell you. What? A nice thick, a nice That's my favorite part of Thanksgiving, because I know people make ham during the that ham. time. I love ham. My favorite part, a thick cut of, like, the white meat on the turkey, mm-hmm. smothered in brown gravy. Mm-hmm. It, I'd tear it up. Mm. I could go back like I don't I'm very I'm a very picky eater mm-hmm. and they always make food that like I probably wouldn't enjoy mm-hmm. but that turkey girl I, I slop it up it's so good mm-hmm. I love turkey I mm-hmm. wish it was around more times a year I get it one time a year maybe we get one time a year because it's, it's such a bitch to cook no but I mean like, you just you can't just buy it turkey like eat it like in a sandwich. Well, yeah, that, that's different turkey. That's like that's like lunch meat turkey. Yeah. I want the real thing. I want the shit that pulls mm, apart. Mm, mm. I want the legs. I want the drumsticks. No, I get what you mean. Now. But I don't yeah, really fuck. Yeah. Actually, I don't really fuck with the drumsticks because those tend to be like like it's like white meat until like a certain point, and then it gets a dark meat. Yeah, I don't, dark, I don't yeah. like the dark meat. Mm-hmm. I love the white meat though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't clip this. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel's racist. He doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then what what have you been most thankful for this year? Most thankful? I'm thankful for me. I'm thankful for how much I've grown. I feel like every year I notice how much I grow. And I feel this year was full of a lot of growth. It was. Yeah. I mean... I'm very proud of myself. One of my coworkers said that they think... One of the coworkers I was told you about was like, I, um, they think you're like a different person now. Mm-hmm. You've grown so much. No, yeah, I remember you told me that. Also, I think that's weird. Because like, how soon is someone going to stay the same every year? Yeah, I don't know. Cause like I, that's also something I really like. Cause I remember one time we did something, or what, what did we do today? I know it was something on the pod. We took some sort of like quiz. I think I remember I was telling you about my quiz. The personality quiz. Was and it you, that? And then you got two separate answers each time, right? No, I mean yeah, cause like the first time was like years ago, and then I took it again this time, and it was a different one. But like that's that happens, cause like I said, people change. But I think there was something else. I remember it said something about change. How like uh, I don't remember. The whole point is like, I, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Try wear this out in public. I mean, well, yeah. Okay. Well, I want to say I'm thankful. But yeah. Oh. What? I'm really thankful for you. Okay. Thank you. I'm really thankful for the growth that we have started to get. Um, my goal by the end of the year is 300 subscribers, mm-hmm. and then my goal by the end of next year, 10,000. Mm-hmm. I think that's realistic. You think? Because well, I mean, we've been growing a lot so far, mm-hmm. and so 10,000 subscribers by the end of next year, I think is realistic. You do have a little bit left on your nose. Actually. Yeah. It's just a little, it's just, it's just a little speck. Where? Okay, you got it. Um, I, my goal is 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. I mean, by the end of next year. Mm-hmm. And my goal by the end of this year is 300. Mm-hmm. I think it's realistic. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, girl. You think it's realistic. It is. Uh, do you think I've grown? In like what? Like as a person. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you've seen me. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, because it, like, it depends. I think mean, you've grown from your relationship because you're not sad anymore fully. I'm not sad about him, at least. But like, I don't know about the rest. I think I've grown a lot this year. I think I have discovered more. I think I've discovered the, my, my biggest flaws. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to work on my biggest flaws. Like, you're just some know. animal. I, I'm trying to work on my biggest flaws. Like, I know that, like, when I get into that really bad panic attack state, mm-hmm. I tend to say things to people that I don't mean to say or, like, I don't mean. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then... <coughs> and then... <coughs> I'm so sorry. Ew. And then it always comes and bites me in the ass. And mm-hmm. that happened a lot with my last relationship. Mm-hmm. So I've been trying to work on that. Make sure I am. Like, it, when I get into that state, I'm like, okay, I know. Mm-hmm. I, I need to be aware of what I'm doing. Even though it's hard. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think I've been trying to work on that. Okay. Nice. I finally remember what I was saying. I remember, oh. like, we took, like, some sort of, like, quiz or something. I remember something was about, like, change or, like, how you're always, like, trying to learn something new or something like that. I remember I was like, oh, I think that is, like, me. Because... I notice changes in me all the time I feel. I feel like I'm always trying to grow or learn something new. 
I think you've grown a lot as a person. Yeah, I think so too. Looking back at the first episode. Okay, I think I've changed it facially, like my face and all that. But I, I don't mean, think like, that's growing as a person. No, I mean, like watching the first episode, and watching like your personality. Well, that's just because I got more comfortable with the camera. I think that's everyone though. Whenever you watch a first like episode of someone, like I feel like everyone's like how we were, you know. A little timid, a little shy. I would say yeah, kind of yeah, kind of like that yeah. Because I wouldn't say I was fully timid because like obviously like, I knew what we were doing and like. Also, I feel like we're, like, 20s. Like, we were, I was 20, and you were 19 when we were starting. And I feel like we're, we've been around technology enough. Like, mm-hmm. like in high school, middle school, where people would just, I don't know, be filming. So, it's, like, I wouldn't say, like, I was fully, like, uncomfortable with the camera on me and, like, talking to it. Because, like, we've done it kind of already anyways, like, in our past. Not, like, to, like, this way. But, like, we've still done it. In my also, notes, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. In my notes, okay. I wrote, "Say what I'm thankful for." Maria podcast. Blah, and I am blah. still talking <laughs> as I was talking. Sorry, sorry. sorry. And then I'm gonna go talk, and you just keep talking. <laughs> Not, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I literally say you're like. <laughs> <laughs> literally, you'll see me just. Okay. I'm sorry. Keep going. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> say. The other day, I remembered because I didn't notice it, but I was, I was thinking about it because I remember I saw something. But I remember, um, I was thinking about like. You have, have you ever, like, looked at your face and, like, realized how much, like, it's grown, like, maturing? Because mm-hmm. I think that's always so crazy. Because I remember I noticed it in, like, middle school from, like, my face when I was younger. I was like, wow, like, I'm changing. I can't. And, like, I would try to envision my face, like, when I'm older. And then, like, obviously, even though, like, you see your face every day, you probably, like, don't notice it. But then out of nowhere, you'll be looking at your face and be like, wait, what? I look so different. I'm old. No, I, well, I would say kidding. old, but I would just say, um, wow, like, my face is really maturing. I think it's really cool to see, too, on it, to be honest. Because I remember I, I saw it when I was, like, I think when I was, like, 20 or 19 is when I saw my face, like, like again, like, probably for, like, the second time. Well, or maybe the third time. No, I think ever. it was the second time. Well, like, that I noticed where I was, like, oh, wow, it's changing. She's growing. No, I think it was the third time. Because I think also in high school that happened to me where I was, like, wow, my face looks so different. Like, I'm maturing. Looking back at my Snapchat think, memories, mm-hmm. I look so different. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I was going to say, um... I was going to say, I don't remember what I was going to say. What were you going to say, Oh, no, you said something about Snapchat, and I completely <laughs> forgot what I was saying. I was like, um. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I know when he interrupts, and, um. I am Trixie. Oh, does she interrupt? Yeah, that's a big thing that she talks about, that she interrupts a lot. Uh, yeah. I am Trixie. I guess you are taking her personality. No! Typical man. <laughs> but anyways. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're changing. Oh, but I think it's just beautiful. That's what I was going to say. I was just going to continue that part. I think it's really beautiful to notice how your face changes. I think it's so cool to see, like, all the different chapters in your face that you've, like, seen. Like, you were there for every single one. Looking back at, like, uh, like elementary school, like, the pictures, like, the, the yearbook pictures for elementary school. My mom has every one of them on the wall. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at them, I'm like, I, I remember doing it. But it's so weird to think that that's what I looked like. Oh, you know really? I mean? Like, I just, like, I can't imagine, like, you know what I mean? No. Because <laughs> I remember. That's what I'm saying. Like, I remember. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what I think is so beautiful. Like, I still remember, like, being a kid and, like, all the time looking at my face, you know. Like, I remember being on the computer and, like, doing those silly stuff, like, with the little filters, you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Like, I still remember, like, my face, you know. So, I think it's so crazy. But, like I said, also so beautiful that, like, I see now, like, wow, I saw that face and now I'm seeing this face. Like, this, that face turned into this face. How long is this face going to last? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I feel like you change every year anyways. Like I said, growth and also just change. Everyone changes. I think I look a lot different than I did last year. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I look a lot different from what I did last year. Put on some pounds. <laughs> oh, you did? Do you remember the first episode? I was like this. No, you're really skinny. And now I'm like this. I mean, you're so skinny. <laughs> I don't want to say you're not skinny, Nathaniel. Mm. Maybe that's your body dysmorphia. You're so skinny. Maybe you're so pretty skinny. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe it is my body dysmorphia. You're so skinny. Yeah, probably it. Um, if you could change anything about the year, what would you change? I think about the year. I wouldn't say anything. anything. I know it's so typical to say, I wouldn't change anything. But, like, I don't think I'd change anything. I mean, nothing too bad happened where it's, like, I could go (laughs) without that happening, you know. Okay, but, like, even though the stuff that happened to you, would you really change it? Maybe the house one, yeah. Honestly, I think that's the only thing. But that's because, like, you still haven't gotten the good outcomes yet. You're still in, like, the middle process. Wait until the good outcomes come. I'm sure maybe some sort of good outcome will come up. I hope so. I'm but sure. I don't think I don't think I'd change. But also, anything. there could be none either. I don't, honestly, there no, could I be don't, none. I don't think I'd change anything either. Mm. I think I'm. I've real. I'm realizing more and more that me and Ronnie together 
probably wasn't the best. Probably. We, we weren't. We, well, you said you're realizing, so I'm just correcting you, probably. We probably weren't the best together, even though our personalities meshed well, really well. But there were parts of our personalities that really didn't mesh well together. Mm -hmm. And those parts that didn't mesh well together got in the way of the parts that did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. So you weren't compatible, is what you're saying? No, no. <laughs> because no. If, if it's meshing, but then I have some parts that's not meshing, I'm guessing you're not compatible. It's not going through anymore. Not compatible. Compatible, which is. I, right I will say I was reading I was reading some of our old text messages last night because mm. I like to hurt myself. No, I love to read old text messages. <laughs> love it. And oh, this is so sad. On some, like know, I said, growth. Really seeing growth. Seeing my old messages from high school wow. is crazy. Yes. Going back to my DMs on Instagram and seeing what I was talking mm -hmm. about, I'm like, it's like what? What was I on? On some of them, I'm like, what the fuck was I on? Like, I think it's like I know I wasn't even yeah, on anything. We, it's weren't like, even, we weren't smoking weed. Yet. I know. <laughs> but also, honestly. It also made sense to me because when I was younger, people would tell me that sometimes my personality seemed like I was like high. Like I remember people would ask me like, "Oh, are you high?" I'm like, "No." You're and so pretty. I'm sorry. Thank you. I've had them since I was a kid. They're so Virginia. And I found them today, so I wear them. They're rubies. They're so pretty. Is that your birthstone? No. It is. Is it? Yeah. July. I love rubies. But yeah. You and my sister have the same birthstone. Oh wow. She had cancer too. Her birthday is July 26. And then my other, my other sister's birthday is July 24th. I don't know. No, neither do I. I think, I know some of the cancer goes into the 20s of July. I don't know how far, though. No, my one sister's a Leo. She probably is. I mean, because I know after cancer, you know, Leo. Like, I know some of the cancer goes into some of the 20s in July. I love don't Leos. know where it stops. Somewhere I, in the 20s. I love Leos. Well, of course you're a Leo. Of course you're going to say that. But I love cancers! I, I, I a, love being a cancer. It was a running joke for the first, for the first few months of the podcast I didn't like cancer but I really do running joke <laughs> yeah like I talk about the podcast you like, still oh. say it that's what I'm saying running joke yeah, like, <laughs> it's a joke but it's, you still say it yeah, but so still, how is it running it, wouldn't it still be running I guess it's still okay I guess it's still a running joke that I don't like cancers but even I, though he's cancer rising he's but, more cancerous than I am but I really do like cancers well, yeah. You're one of my favorite people. Thank you. I told you. I was talking to Maria the other night, and I was like, Maria, you're, you're the top three most important people in my life. Thank you. My mom's number one. Obvi. Mom then, has to be number one. And then Anna. Mm-hmm. And then you. Thank you. How you're sweet. so important to me. That's so sweet. You're important to me, too. Stop. You're very important into my life. Stop. I'm going to start sobbing right now. Stop. I want to have a little... <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. Stop crying. Okay. I thought it'd be a little fun to have a little segment. Mm -hmm. The um, things I've discovered this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I've already talked about one, the first one. It's hard being a slut. Mm -hmm. Having to memorize details about each and every one of these men. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so hard. Do you know how many times I've accidentally mixed up details? Really? Like, I'll be on the phone with one of them. And I'll be like, I'll be like I showed you this, didn't I? And they'll be like, no. And I'll be like, I swear I showed it to you. And they'll be like, no, you didn't. And I'll be like with the other guy this <laughs> but anyway you remember okay my, my one of my friends from 10th grade i had a huge crush on him mm -hmm. I, but i haven't spoken to him in like probably since he probably since 10th grade mm -hmm. i realized he likes and stalks our podcast tiktok like mm -hmm. often oh yeah so colby that <laughs> yeah that's his name i had the biggest crush on him mm -hmm. and i still think and when i saw that i was like oh <gasps> I was thinking about the. I was thinking about messaging him and be like, "So you like me? <laughs> so you watch my podcast?" But I didn't say anything. No. And then obviously I've discovered this before this week, but I have a wet mouth. No, yeah. I, We've been on that. Trust me. We've I, been on that over here. I, yeah, you know it better than it. Even them. They've been here for so many moments. You've spit on me every episode. Come on out. <laughs> Just learn something new. <laughs> I. But I. <laughs> Every episode this whole past year. I have a really wet mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to. I don't know what happens. I don't even drink that much water. Yeah, I don't know how you have so much liquid coming out of you when it doesn't even go in you. There's one TikTok that we did, that we just posted the other day. And you pretend to punch me. And she doesn't <laughs> actually punch me. But when I flip my head, you just see... Like, like, it was like a, a punch. A spit like just a, go... It was like a, like a huge gallop. It was like a huge glob. Of glob. Just, out of my mouth. What? Yeah, gallop like a fucking horse. Yeah, I was like, why the fuck I say gallop? Gallop. You're a guitar hero. Yeah. What? It's the kids over there. First off, how you hear this kid screaming and you look that way when it's that way? I thought I heard it over there. When he can't hear. 
Another thing. Never mind. You probably can't. Ooh, the voices. Maybe you did hear a voice. Ooh! <laughs> we aren't at church. There's no cemetery that I know of, unless it's all the way over there. But I don't think there is. I've driven, I've driven over on that side, and I've never, I've never seen wanna, a cemetery. I want to see if we can get into that church. I Maybe mean, we can walk up to it. I mean, it looks like I'm pretty sure it's open, because I saw a truck turn that way, go deeper down that way. So probably, like, on the other side. Because I know the church next to my house, like, it's open. It has, I don't know all the doors, but they're all open. But I know one door is usually always open, because I always see people coming in and out of it. Really? Yeah, well, not always see them coming uh, in and out of it. But I've seen enough people go in and out of it, where I'm like, oh, it's open. That's such a being pretty. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You know I the know. struggle well. I do. How's he? <laughs> you throw I vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I just I just touch your knee. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to try that pin. I'm surprised you still haven't tried it. I, just, yeah, I really don't like driving when I'm mm, a little under I mean, I can drive. And I don't, you said I could drive your and car. I don't, um, and I don't, I don't know how strong that one's going to be. I drive it to Target. Are we going to go to Target? Where are we going to go? I, I just kind of got Target. I said I want to shop around. Where do you, but like, what do you want to shop? Clothes. Barnes and Nobles. But you said you don't go to TJ Maxx. Clothes, and you're going to say Barnes and Nobles? <laughs> you know I love to be in Barnes and Nobles. Girl, we should go to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx would be nice. Let's go to TJ Maxx. I don't really want to go, I to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to TJ Maxx. That'd be so fun. Kinda I don't want to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> <Actually>. <laughs> OMG, I saw this crazy video today. So pretty much like, this is so bold. Like literally, it's so bold. Like, okay. and that's what makes it even more crazier to me. Cause like I know it happens anyways, but like it's so bold how this per like the person, the person that chose the people he did this to. Cause like obviously kidnappings happen, right? Where people like kidnap people, right? That's my biggest fear. Yeah, and then like I've seen videos where like someone will kidnap like a kid while the kids like with the parent, like in a mm -hmm. grocery store when they turn around or something. But this person literally is like. It's somewhere on a road, right? You know, like, like they're crossing a street. You know, like, oh, New York, you're crossing a street, uh -huh. you know, like, right there at the light. The woman, you know, she turns, you know, checks, and, like, her husband's, like, a little bit behind her. But, like, he's there, you know? You can tell he's with her. And then, like, out of nowhere, this other man comes from this side. And she's here in the middle. He's here. You know, she checks, starts walking, and the man over here starts, like, walking towards her. And, obviously, her husband starts getting more closer to her, you're, like, going this way to be on this side of her. Mm -hmm. But, like, right when he's, like, a little bit, like, probably, like, around right here-ish, you know, okay. like, near your shoulder but like still behind you okay. so, like around there that's when the other man on the side lunges at the woman because she's carrying the baby <gasps> it wasn't like a full-on baby like this because like it wasn't like this mm -hmm. so it was probably like a few months enough, enough where like its head could be supported up you know okay yeah and it was she was just carrying like this and then like the man lunges at her to try and grab it and like the man and like the husband like grabs the wife and is like holding them like this like so like the baby doesn't go and like the wife doesn't like get her <laughs> or anything and like the man's just trying to pull the baby off him and eventually he lets go and the husband like starts being on this man, obviously, but I got the video too. Oh, you got the receipt. Of course, I just started explaining it. <laughs> but yeah. Scary. I'm gonna be honest. It's so crazy. Oh, it's like a toddler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <gasps> oh my god. See, like it's so bold. Like of all the people he chose, he chose someone with like where like he sees like the wife is with like her husband. Uh huh. Like so is someone. So I think that's so bold. You know? I could never be that bold. I mean, I would never kidnap I mean, I would never kidnap like, either, but I'm just saying, you, like, you would think the person kidnapping would choose someone more vulnerable. Because you always mm -hmm. hear that, like, they'll go for the more vulnerable person. So I think it's so crazy that he chose the woman, like, the husband's right there. Like, and, and the husband looked pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, he looked pretty good. I mean. Would you smash? I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't see much. Look, you don't even see his face. But like I'm saying, he looked pretty good. I mean, he was, he looked like around like the same height as that other man. Mm -hmm. You know, he and looked the, like he had a good build. I mean, he was pretty much covered, but was like this big. Yeah, he looked that big, huh? <laughs> he said, "Let me take a baby from a man that looks strong." Yeah, literally. <laughs> but it's so what crazy. Are we like, doing? that's so crazy and bold that he would do that. Like, oh my god. I mean, crazy you would even do that, but even crazy you chose someone like they're obviously not even alone. They're not even vulnerable. But yeah, you gotta be safe, y'all, because yeah. they'll go after anyone. Being kidnapped one of my biggest fears. Really? Like, genuinely one of my biggest fears. Oh, yeah. Like they, I, th this is why I don't hook up with men very often, mm -hmm. especially around here, because mm -hmm. I've heard all these stories. No, yeah, I've heard, I've heard crazy stories where someone will pretend they're gay and they're not gay, obviously, because they're uh -huh. pretending, yeah. and they'll they'll, they'll have the person that's gay like meet up with them somewhere, and then that's when they kill them. They'll pretend to be gay, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that's so shocking. I would have never guessed. <laughs> they pretend to be gay, 
they're not. But <laughs> <laughs> and like they'll like they'll lure them and then they'll like kidnap them or kill them. No, I yeah, really I don't that. like it. Well, I don't know if they like kidnap them, but I just need that they kill them. Probably kidnap too, because you know sex trafficking and all that. I really try to have like a nice like full length conversation before I even like think about meeting up with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like even then. But I mean, yeah, even then you can't. You can't tell, because, I mean, you know, those people had conversations. I mean, I don't know how long they lasted, but... Some of these guys on Grindr, they'll be like, hey, and then they'll send me a They'll be like, swap pics, and I'll be like, sure. So I'll send them my album, and they'll send me theirs, and they'll be like, okay, let's meet up, and I'll be like, mm-hmm. I don't even know your name. <laughs> I don't even know your name. That, that really southern guy that I'm talking to, mm-hmm. the first time we met up mm-hmm. was in an abandoned church parking lot, mm-hmm. and I, w- I was so scared. Yeah? I was... I, 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 got, I got in his car, and he is quite bigger than me mm-hmm. and I was, I was like he's gonna take me I was like, he's gonna take me he's gonna mm-hmm. kill me he's gonna do something and then when, when I heard him speak I was like oh god this is the moment I'm mm-hmm. gonna get murdered but now, but now he's like falling in love with me yeah. <laughs> I love making men fall in love with me yeah. you can see this is the thing I'm being very open and honest with them about mm-hmm. it too I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm moving to New York 2025 I just wanna let you know so that like if anything serious has happened there's yeah, you ending, know what's up there's an ending point yeah I've been on three days with this man. I told him my plan. He goes, well, what if I come with you? And I said, no. Really? Yeah. So I said, no. You wouldn't let him come with you? It, like, y'all fall in love and all that? Like, I'm just saying, like, genuinely, like, full on think about it. If you actually fall in love with him, like, genuinely, like, you're in love, you wouldn't be like, come with me. I feel like I would. I, like, I get your plan is, like, not to bring anyone with you because you're trying to have a fun life. But, like, I feel like if I didn't genuinely fall in love with someone, I'd be like, yeah, come with me. You think... I don't know. I mean, so I mean, I think I'm thinking about like genuine love someone. I feel like if I genuinely love someone, like I want to, I want want them to be around me. You look so good. So I'd probably be like, yeah, come with me. I guess. You wouldn't. I don't know. So even if you were fully in love with him, you'd be like, no, don't come. I guess with me. I'm falling. You'd in- rather be in pain. I guess if I'm in love. I guess that's what I'm thinking about. If you say no, then you're just gonna be in pain being away from him. You're like, I should have told him to come. If I'm in love, then maybe, but like. Maybe. If I'm in love, then like probably. Probably. But like. I don't want to fall in love right now. No, but I'm saying if you do. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> like, hypothetically, if you do fully fall in love with him, you wouldn't be like, yeah, come on. I guess. But he... I don't, want to, I don't want to share that detail, but you know the detail that I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I don't. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you don't know, but then you didn't say that. You know, the, you know the detail. I don't know what you're talking about. The detail I found out the other night. But, but, but what, what he does for school... No, he is in school. Yeah, no, he's in school. <laughs> he's in school, y'all. I found that. He's out. 18, but he's in school. I found that out. Trick or treating? I b- <laughs> he did go trick or treating. That was it. I know. That's why I said it. But to be fair, Anna also went trick or treating. <laughs> she went trick or treating. Yeah. I saw other people going trick or treating on TikTok too, but like, still. You're a grown adult. Be so for real. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, as I'm saying. I mean, still like, still in like, he's. Uh, 18. I went, whoop, I went, I went trick or treating when I was in high school still. I mean, I did. I'm not going to go trick or treat now, but I did go trick or treat when I was still in high school. I did up until my, se- we never said high school. <laughs> I did it in high school. Oh, I went trick or treating up until my senior year. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I no, did it I up did, to my senior year. Literally to, senior, I'm pretty sure I did it. Yeah. I did it up to my junior year because. No, I, spent, I did it my senior year. I spent Halloween with Ronnie last, um, mm. my senior year. I did it my senior year. Did I? No. I did go trick or treating my senior year because me yeah. and Ronnie were just talking at that point. Oh yeah. And then we, I went trick or treating, and then the next week, he asked me to be his boyfriend. No, sorry, I asked him. Mm. Oh god. What? Sometimes I think about like would I it, would I take back that time like? Oh, I was gonna say I thought you were gonna say would we have even been dating if I didn't ask him out? Probably not. Because that's what I'm thinking. No, I think we would because the text message I was reading, our, I was reading our old text messages after our first date. Mm-hmm. So he was like, "I can't wait to see you again. Like, I really, really, really like you." And I was mm-hmm. like, "Really?" No, but do you think he would done it? Because someone can say stuff like that, and also like the type of person he is. I say stuff like that. Yeah. Also, the type of person he is. Do you really think there wouldn't, have, they couldn't have been lies? When I found out, Maria, 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 when I found out that he was going on dates after we broke up. I about lost my mind. I was so heartbroken. After, like, when I figured, when I saw that he was, oh, fuck, where'd he go? I think it was Columbia. I was like, oh. and then, you know me, I like to snoop, and he never changed his phone password, and so I, you know, I enjoy hurting myself, so I went on his phone, and I saw, like, I had a great time seeing you today. I can't wait to see you again. I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, well, my chances are over. 
But like, he agreed to talk to me a few days ago, like, on the 28th, mm-hmm. and then he blocked me. Mm-hmm. I thought, oh, how dare you? The audacity. Okay. I thought we were going to talk, and like, I, it was, at that point, I wasn't like, I don't know if I really wanted to get back together with him at that point, mm-hmm. but like, I would still have enjo- enjoyed a nice little talk, mm-hmm. a little closure. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know what more closure I could get, but. No, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It sucks. It sucks when I miss him. Mm. Cause I know I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. What? No. <laughs> I'm listening to you because you started just telling me to send the same things all over again. When I asked you a question, and I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck is he talking about?" No, literally, you started just talking about saying the same things you've already said. And I'm just like, "Yeah, but to you in private." No, you already said it like already earlier. Oh, have I? Yeah, cause I remember I asked. Do you think he, you would have dated? Like, you think he would have asked you? You think he meant it? And then he started saying all that again. And I was like, what the fuck is I think we still would. I was trying to find an answer. I think we still would have dated. No, yes. I'm saying, do you think he would have asked you? Like, oh. for real, for real. You actually fully think he meant it. I think so. I you think, think so? Would, I think he would have asked me out. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, why? Oh, I told you. I think, I think especially in the beginning. I, in the beginning, you know how I was talking about, like, so some parts of our personality didn't mesh well together mm-hmm. in the beginning. No, but I'm saying, like, you know how some people lie. That's what I'm saying. Also, like, saying his type of personality. Do you think it was a, 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 a facade? You know? Because no. some people do that. I don't think so. At least I've heard of people saying that, like, they've had partners where they'll be, you know, good. In the, I mean, I'm happy with an experience. Well, they'll be great in the beginning. And then after a few months, it's like you're seeing this whole different person. And you're like, you weren't like that at all. No, I think we still love David. I think yeah. you, I think you would ask. You me think out. he would ask because me? the first, our the, especially our first year together, we were like I don't I, I barely even remember fighting our first year mm-hmm. besides that one time we cheated. On you. Yeah, I was gonna say did he cheat on you? Besides, I know you can't say this whole year was good. Besides that one time, but besides that, I still. Remember. Well, you say besides that to everything, <laughs> everything will be great. <laughs> so besides all the terrible things he did, he was a great partner. Yeah, bes- uh, yeah. <laughs> he really. <laughs> I still think about what you told me about our, about our Christmas party that we had. I still think about it. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, it was crazy. What do you say? You I know how to ways. feel. I don't remember everything. I just remember at one point he called you dumb or, like, stupid. Yeah, well, he called me that in English to my face yeah. multiple times. Yeah. And, and that night, too. Yeah. When I was singing when I was singing in my room, you know. Oh, you did? Panking tag, and he went in there, and he yelled at me. Mm-hmm. Quietly yelled, because he didn't want y'all to hear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like... I felt like he always put up this facade that we were doing great. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know why he would tell y'all that. But I don't know why he would talk bad about me to y'all. I don't know. It was so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it seems crazy now. It was really nothing. It was so crazy in the middle of it. While being drunk too? Oh, like, oh my God. But see, my only problem. See, I was so pissed off that night. Uh-huh. The whole night. He promised me. But I'm only going to have, like, one or two drinks. I don't want to get that drunk. I want you to have the night that you deserve. And I was like, okay, great. Uh-huh. And then he started stealing trulies from you and Laura. Laura. Yeah, I didn't even know this. So well, take, to be honest, I was just grabbing. He started taking trulies from you and Laura. And what? then he got really drunk. And I was so pissed off. Oh, it was too much. Hashtag team too much. It was too much. It was so... <gasps> I'm just so, so much. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, girl. You really got his way off. I still haven't changed the background, though. Yeah, I know. I, th- I think it might be time. Do you think? Do you think it will be time? I think it might be time. Do you think it's time? Should I do it right now? Go ahead, girl. Do what you gotta do. I'll change it. Do what you gotta I'll do. My, I'll change my background to Do what this. feels right to you. I'll change my background to um our podcast. Go ahead. I don't want to right now. I mean, don't do it. I mean, if you're not ready, don't do it. Uh, it I'm so not gonna say do it if you don't feel ready. Because, uh, like, so it's not meaningful <sighs> until you actually... Unless you actually feel it and mean it. Uh, do you mind? No, I don't. Because uh, I know I've had moments like that with past people where I'm like... I meant, do you mind if I lay here? <laughs> no, I don't mind. <laughs> but, like, I was meant, like, I'm just going to keep talking because oh, we're filming. Oh, I thought, we're kind of filming a podcast. <laughs> kind of got to keep talking, you know? I thought, I, I, thought, I thought you thought I was asking, do you mind if I don't change the background? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, oh. but I'm going to say... Uh, I was going to say, in the past, I've had a few people where, like... Like, I've had things with them, but, like, I don't, like, delete stuff until, like, I felt like it was, you know, like, the right time. Like, what I'm telling you, until, like, I finally felt, you know what, it's time. So 
time to delete those messages. Time to delete. The messages is what always gets me. Because, like I said, I like to read old messages. I haven't deleted messages yet. See? But when you finally do, you're going to be like, wow. Unless sometimes you don't mean it, you're like, oh, fuck. Should we read them right now? Me with pictures, too. Also with pictures. I haven't deleted. I will. I will. Like, it'll take me forever to delete it. But also, once I have deleted it. Have I ever read it? No, there's nothing I've ever read it. But, like, then, like, after, I'm like, okay, it's good. And, like, now, too, I'm like. It's a good thing I deleted it. I haven't deleted any totally of my over. any of our selfies together on my Snapchat. But to mm. be fair, I haven't deleted the ones of Aaron either. Yeah, but are you over him? I think I think I'm 100 percent over Aaron. I just like I like to have the memories there to like look at them. Mm-hmm. I don't go back and look at pictures of me and Aaron often. But mm-hmm. like oh, it's on my phone. But like on my Snapchat, like the one year, like the one, two, three years ago, mm-hmm. I love to see like what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And if I delete them, then I'm not gonna know. I'm like, There's oh. not like other pictures. I'm like, oh. I'm like, obviously, I get like keeping the ones where it's like obvious, or it's like, oh, this is like a special event where it's like I have no other pictures. I deleted the ones of me and Aaron kissing though. Mm-hmm, those mm-hmm. are the ones I did delete. Mm-hmm. But like the ones that we were just like chilling, mm-hmm, I didn't delete those because like yeah. we're just chilling. We just look at friends. I got. Well, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't Most know. friends. <laughs> I haven't been in that situation, so I don't know. Did Did you bring makeup wipes? I didn't. How are you gonna take that off your nose? I was gonna go like this. <laughs> You can use this. It's already dirty. No, I was just gonna use the inside. Oh, girl. Wait. I don't care about the inside. With makeup, sometimes I'll just wipe my makeup off here, or like lip gloss. I'll wipe it off in the, in like the inside of my clothes, cause I'm like I don't care. Fine. It'll sometimes sometimes it washes off clothes, sometimes it doesn't. There is. Like you know the Ariana Grande shirt. Okay, there is. Looking for so many stains. Which one? <laughs> Which one are you trying to show don't, me? Don't look at the yellow ones. The yellow ones are from something. Okay, like there's nothing else here. Don't look, don't look at the yellow ones. Or there. They're from something different. But like, oh my god, stop! Don't look. And don't look, but he's showing us. No, I'm trying to find that purple one. There's a huge purple one that is from, like, when I used to do makeup. Uh-huh. And I put it on, like, I was doing it in my car before work, and I just felt so fucking ugly. Mm. Like, I put it on, I was like, I look fucking hideous. Mm. So I just took this and... <laughs> <sighs> I hated it. I felt so ugly that day. Yeah? I'm you felt just... humbled? <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel humbled? I felt humbled. Do you know who felt humbled also? <laughs> Kardashian by North. I was trying to make a segue, and I was like, "Fuck, he's gonna keep talking." But then he didn't, okay. so it was a good segue. Okay, so what, how did? Okay, go? look. So pretty much, the producer asked him, no, asked North, like, like, are you proud of your mom or something, something like that, or like, are you proud of what your mom does? And she's like, "What does she do?" And she's fucking eating an onion too, a full raw ass onion, and like it's an apple, just eating it. <laughs> and it's up her face too, is it? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. What do you think about fucking onion. What does she do? <laughs> and it's your face! Like, she's just like, what does she do? I think she's in this big ass mansion that her mother provided. I think she doesn't go to all these things that her mother does. Like, what does she do? What does she do? Oh, you know, okay, so have you seen like the, the Sims, Kim, Kim, like the Sims Kardashian parodies? No, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's one where they like, they like make them live poor for a day. Mm-hmm. I would love for that to be reality. Oh, yeah. Like give them like a $500, no, not even that. Give them like a $250 budget for the week mm-hmm. and make them live in like a shitty trailer. Mm-hmm. I would love to see how they live. You know no, yeah, I mean? it would definitely be very different because even before fame, they were so like rich but yeah they were still yeah they were so rich so it was like because chris was rich before she gave birth to them no i think her family i don't know if they were rich i think i don't know but i know her i know her mom worked i know she did that oh chris is like chris's mom work oh. no like chris's mom i know she worked like i think it was like some sort of boutique but like the thing is like i don't know they were rich i know them i know they weren't poor i don't think they were poor at least there's this one infomercial but of chris of chris jenner selling Wal- stuff at Walmart? No. Selling- or like that she was like at Walmart or something like that? No, she was like selling like these really like scented candles and she was like, they give you all these effects, they're gonna make your life so much better. And I just found it so fucking funny uh-huh. that she was selling these like scented candles and talking about them like they're God. No, yeah, like this is gonna make everything so much better, girl. <laughs> Get this candle. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has always been a working woman. But as she should, girl. I stand- Honestly, I, stand I totally Chris. get it. No, yeah, I love it. You know Halo didn't know what getting Chris was? Really? And then we talked about it to him. You know, mm-hmm. getting Chris was like so 2021. Yeah. <laughs> and he it popped up on his for you page. I thought it was 2022. Was it? Yeah. Get you, get you. Yeah, yeah. I, love I think it was in the beginning of 2022. Uh, so like uh, at the end of 2021. It, he, it popped up on his for you page. And I'm like, 
almost two years later. Dang. I know. Hey, two years behind. I know. He's two years behind every trend. <laughs> We're like a year behind every trend. Oh, girl. But also, anyways, I also think it's so. I was, I was thinking a little bit about Northwest like mentality, how she thinks of things. Cause like, okay, cause I think it's so crazy. So we like the kid of someone like really famous, like not just someone famous, but I mean like the really famous ones, like Kim Kardashian. She's famous, like Beyonce. She's famous. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I always think about like how it is for like the kids like in their heads like how they like perceive everything mm-hmm. from their perception and like i was wondering because like i know like recently there was a lot of talk about it on tiktok about um north she um she like dressed up as what just eating the onion i just saw it i know i saw <laughs> she's eating it so what does she do <laughs> like an apple <laughs> what does she do <laughs> yeah mm, delicious north but anyways, um, where she like dresses up as like this bear from like her da- one of her dad's like old albums, I think something like that, and like, and like in this in like the video, everyone's like, um, like talking about like, like how much Kim like hides from them, like keeping them like safe, like their perception about like their dad, because like obviously like mm-hmm. we know about a lot of things oh, about know. him. But, like, apparently, like, Kim, like, tries to keep as much as she can from them, you know, like, shield them. Good. So, like, like not, you know, like, she's not mm-hmm. going to talk badly about their dad, even though, like, she knows the bad stuff. She's not going to talk badly about him. Mm-hmm. But it was this video. Oh, I know the album cover. Yeah, this one. People were talking about, like, how it's so crazy to think, like, right now, like, she has so much love for, like, her dad. Which, I'm not saying that she's not going to have love for her dad later on. But, like, it's because, like, she doesn't, like, know the things. But, like, you know, because like, Kim's keeping all that. I don't know. It's so crazy to think. But also, like, I wonder. Also, after I saw that video, too, I saw this other video. I think it's from, like, the new episode that came out. Because today's Thursday, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the episode already came out. From um, the Kardashians on the show where, like, it's Kim and Courtney. They're talking. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew they Whoa. talk about fighting? So, apparently, they're talking in this episode. Without fighting, it looks like. If you knew how to run a <laughs> fucking business. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, they're talking and like how they like co-parent and all that, like their parenting and stuff like that. And we're like in the video, Kim saying like how much North loves Kanye's apartment because apparently he lives in, a, in an apartment now. But the thing is like there's like no staff, like there's like no staff, like no nanny, like because that's what North was saying to Kim. Like she's like, there's no nanny, there's no chef, there's no nothing, you know, like like it's just him. Like he's got it all figured out. Like remember Kim said that, like that North said he's got it all figured out. And she's like, and like, I remember Courtney was like, well, oh no, yeah. Courtney, Kim said that North was like, I want an apartment. Like, we don't even have an apartment. Like, oh my gosh, what do you mean you don't even have an apartment? Girl, you're Northwest. You got like everything else probably besides the little, besides the apartment. But even then, I feel like Kanye's apartment would be pretty big. Oh, I saw someone in the comments say like, it was like a penthouse or something. Like, I don't know what it is, but like some sort of apartment. And I remember, um, no, I saying, oh my gosh, she was like, I don't have an apartment. And then... Courtney said, like, she gets the same things from her kids, too, where, like, they'll go to Scott's house, and then, like, come back and be like, oh, this is more fun, like, we do this, like, the vibe's better and all that, and, like, I remember Courtney was, like, I think the way they think about it is, like, they'll always think, um, like, the person, like, the parent that's more involved, because obviously, Kim is more involved, because, like, the kids are more with her mm-hmm. than with Kanye, like, they don't stay with him, they stay with Kim, so obviously she's the one that's more involved, because she, like, takes them to school and all that stuff, right, mm-hmm. obviously with help but like also who wouldn't have that help with your kim kardashian like if your kim kardashian like she'd be doing some stuff apparently she'd be doing a lot like mm-hmm. i think she gets like at five in the morning to like work out and then like because you know do other stuff and then like appointments and stuff like that but the point is like she does things so it's like obviously she's gonna need all that stuff but also what i'm trying to get at anyways let me just stop myself in that whole part what i'm trying to get at is i think i think it's so crazy um to think about north of like how her perception about it is like what's her perception about it obviously right now she's a kid so like obviously she's gonna think like this because like i feel like we'd all think about like about it like this too like you're a kid you're like we don't even have an apartment because you know you know i feel like mm-hmm. everyone would be like that or like some of us would be like that because like you're a kid you know you're you don't know much and also because like like i said apparently kim like shields them so like she doesn't know about like the stuff her dad has done or like said and anything like that but I think it's so crazy to think her perception now and then, like what her perception would be when she's older. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to know. Like I can't wait till she's older just to know like if she ever says anything about her perceptions, especially about this time and era. Like like I hope when she's older she'll bring up this moment where everyone's like talking about it. Cause I remember people in the in like the comments, cause they stitched it. Cause you can't comment on that one. People stitched it being like, right now she has like so much love. Cause like she doesn't know she's so she'll just know that. And that's all I was trying to get to. I, I just want to know her perception when she's older. I think it's crazy how, like, they'll never go through the same struggles as, like, like, 
I went through or like you went through mm-hmm. because they just have so much money. Well, yeah, but I feel like they still go through some things, like, kind of relatively safe. Like I said, like, like the... There were times my lights turned off. No, yeah, obviously they won't go through those struggles. I'm not off. saying they don't have, sh- like, like, like they will be going through arson music exact struggles, but I feel like they'll go through their own mm-hmm. struggles that they have. Like, I feel like the struggle of, like, Fame. your dad... Oh. No, I was going to say, that. I think, like, your dad being, like, your whole world when you're younger and, like, like he's, like, perfect in your mind. Mm-hmm. And then when you're older and it being, like, oh... Now I'm knowing the actual truth. Like, he's not the best person. I think that's... I think that's a struggle a lot of people have shared. It doesn't matter how much money you have or not. I think that's a struggle a lot of people have shared. Because, I mean, like I said, stitches I saw in, like, comments people have talked about were, like, when they were younger, their dad was, like, everything perfect. So I think he stitches on. I guess so, yeah. Because, like, some stitch... Some people stitched it. I don't think they stitched it. I think maybe it was, like, a, a mm. screen recording. But things I saw some people start off with that video and then, like, you know, it'll go to them talking. But anyways... Or, like, people just talking about it. But anyways, all I was going to say is, I think that's, like, something a lot of people, like, relate to. But like, so I mean, sorry. something people said they did relate to. And it doesn't matter how much money you don't have. Like, obviously, their life is way more easier. I'm not saying it's not. It's way more easier because, you know, they go and do stuff and all that and they got the money. I think it'd be so crazy to, like, like I mean, I would hate, I would, I, obviously, I want to be famous. But I would hate to be, like, a kid born into a famous family that like has no interest like doesn't doesn't even want to be seen by the public eye ever and like you're thrust into that life like you know what i mean what do you mean like like the family doesn't want to be seen ever or like the kid doesn't want to be like seen the ever? kid doesn't want to be famous oh. he doesn't want to be, like, they don't want to be a part of that life and but they just were born into it and that's just going to be their life now that they're 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 going to be famous mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. of who their parents are mm-hmm. like I mean, I know some people shield their kids more than others. I mean, like, I know they shield them a little bit. Like, North is... But not fully. North is... North is already a famous child. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. And she's gonna stay famous. No, yeah, yeah. For her whole life. Because she was born into it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But also depends on, like, how famous, like, your parents are. Because there's some famous kids out there. I don't know who the fuck they are. Imagine she doesn't want to be famous. And she's... And, like, she genuinely just posts these TikToks. Apparently something's coming out with her though I think it's an, an album that was said <laughs> cause like I remember so apparently I I'm, listen. <laughs> I'm probably gonna listen to some of it to like be like what is this I'm sure it's gonna come up on my For You page come on I'm sure Northwest music will come up on my For You page at some point when it comes out mm-hmm. but anyways said, right? what I was gonna say was um apparently they had this mm-hmm. life I don't know where Kim and North they had some sort of life somewhere and obviously people recorded it mm-hmm. and posted it on TikTok and I saw where apparently like Kim out of nowhere was like do you want to talk about the brand or something like that or like something something alluding like there's some sort of like something coming out with her mm-hmm. and like music and like kim was like this is not how we do this this is not how we run this i don't think if i was like that famous and i had a kid i don't know if i would let them like do shit like that like release music and stuff because mm. like i posted youtube videos when i was a kid okay but like it's an like album that. and also you know kim's not gonna let her kid just post anything I mean, if it's an album, if it's, if it's how it, okay, okay, yeah, but I mean, like, anything like that, like, maybe to your extreme, well, no, probably, I, I guess, like, yes, yeah, because of TikToks, but also, like, you're a kid, everyone does it, I love and it means she's letting her kid do, do what kids do, because, I mean, like you said, you did that when you were younger, and you posted it, I when I was younger, I wouldn't TikTok. post it, but I would do stuff like that, too, I know, it reminds, like I said, it reminds me when I was a kid, like, I would do some of the stuff that she would do, like, like I said, like, play around with the filters on the computer, like, I would do stuff like that. I love watching. I love watching Kim participate in North. I know it's so funny. I love it. I love it. I think yeah. She's a good mom. No, yeah, I think she's a good mom. I, I definitely think she's a good mom. You know who I think's a good mom? Who? Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas. I, I don't know much about her, so I don't know. I love Trisha Paytas. I've, I've seen some clip bits, and apparently she's like changing all. I don't know. I love Trisha. I mean, Paytas. she does seem different. Like her personality seems a little bit more mature. I will say that. Um, she was seems more about, mature. Yeah. She was talking about from her what men- I've noticed. She was talking about her mental health and like she's talking about how she's recognizing when like things start to happen Mm -hmm. she was talking about how like um um she had to be away from her daughter for a week because she was so badly in an episode Mm -hmm. i think that was really great of her to recognize that Mm -hmm. she was in in trouble and she shouldn't be around her daughter Mm -hmm. and so she went and got help you know what i mean Mm -hmm. it does make me really sad though that her and like frenemies will never come back yeah i never watched frenemies but i saw little clippets of it it seems so funny i watched Every episode. I've seen every episode at least a few times. I haven't. I love it. I think it was so funny, but ugh, I'm just so sad that I'll never come back. Because yeah. Ethan talked about it. He was like, I think me and Trisha's relationship is beyond repair. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think like, we'll ever... And apparently, you know how Trisha's husband is Ethan's wife's brother? Yeah, I know that. Right? 
apparently her her and her brother used to be really close. Yeah, they're not close and at na- all. And now they don't talk at all. No, like, I know. Like, like family, I remember I saw it, yeah. They don't go to the same family functions anymore. Like, mm-hmm. they never, like, they don't even interact with each other. Like, they don't see each other. No, I and know. So, I think, like, all my, di- like, I could, I think I would be strong enough to, like, put all my differences aside so that my kids could see their, like, their cousins. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think I would be mature enough, but I, obviously I don't know all what happened behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe maybe the situation was a lot worse. But yeah. like, oh my God. I don't even know what the whole situation was. A whole, it was a, it was a I mean, lot. I know stuff, but like I don't know like everything. It was a whole lot. It was also really sad to see like Trisha was very obviously in an epi- like in one of those mental episodes during some of the episodes, mm-hmm. and when she would. Spiral. Oh no! Yeah, I know. And when, when she would spiral, and then like even in the last episode, mm-hmm. um. She, she was obviously having an episode and mm-hmm. she was spiraling and at the end of it she was like she was like you're just gonna sit here and talk about it after I leave and I, and I just can't have that so I want to end the episode right now because it's just so embarrassing every time you do it mm-hmm. and uh, I just feel so bad for her sometimes but I'm so glad that she's getting the help that she needs mm-hmm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. and her podcast is so interesting mm-hmm. well Tana no I've seen it yeah Bachelor, Tana. I've literally talked to you about it know, yeah I know it's so good <laughs> I, yeah. and I listen to that one every episode. Oh, I don't. I lo- I've, I've seen little clippets also. I keep telling myself I'm to watch it, but I never do. I love Trisha. I just think she's great. Mm. She has a very bad past, but... <laughs> no, yeah. I think she's developed into a better person. Mm-hmm. Especially with Malibu being born. Mm-hmm. Such a silly name. Really? <laughs> Ma- Malibu Barbie. I know, it's Malibu Barbie. I know. <laughs> she, wants, she wants to name... If she has a son, she wants to name mm-hmm. it Elvis. Yeah. I think that's so funny. It is. Um, are you ready in the episode? Are you? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... I still love you still, guys. If you want to... What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, we're going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Maria, I have a quick question. Okay. <laughs> well, like I was saying, I still love you still, guys. If you want to follow us, we're at the Chatterbox crew on all streaming platforms. You can find us. And then Twitter, now X, it's the Chatterbox crew, right? Or without the... It's just without the... It's Chatterbox crew. And then TikTok, same thing, at the Chatterbox Crew. And then our Instagram, at the Chatterbox Crew. And then if you want to follow me, my Instagram is xo.xo.maria with two A's at the end. And then my TikTok is what's up underscore Maria, Minafaniel. Where can they find you? If you want to find me, oh, thank you so much for asking. <laughs> Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking. If you want to find me, you can find me at http underscore nxthxn on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Make sure you follow me on all of them. But if you don't feel like looking it up, everything's going to be in the description below, always. Um, so anyway, I'm Nathan. And I'm Maria. And this has been this episode of The Tire Box Crew. I hope that all of you have a happy Thanksgiving. And, I and goodbye. Oh, okay. oh you, okay, you got it. Oh, no, you, okay. Oh! <laughs>